uh, thanks for having me. I won't take too much of your time. I didn't prepare a whole lot. I thought I would visually show what's more appealing than some slides. So uh, I do work at Cat TV. I've been there off and on since 2009. Um, that's, I graduated college, found a love of doing cars in college. I wasn't that lifelong car guy that grew up as a kid going to Hemmings or anything like that. I uh, kind of thought it'd be cool to make a little commercial. Uh, went to a lot of dealerships in college. Uh, made friends with a local Lamborghini dealership and uh, going to autocross racing with the local Porsche club. Uh, so it kind of just grew from there in terms of that. So um, my wife and I lived in Colorado for a couple of years. Uh, we moved back in 2015. Uh, and in the fall of 2015, I received an email from a gentleman who lives in Albany. Uh, there, he was launching a new online automotive channel uh, in the 2016 at the Detroit Auto Show, uh, working with CNET. I don't know if anyone's familiar with CNET online. They're big with tech reviews and all those kind of things, but uh, this was for their new automotive channel. So that launched in 2016. It's called Roadshow. Uh, I've been fortunate enough to freelance with them ever since, uh, whether it's doing videos of the reviews, he will um, receive press cars to him in Albany. We would go over and film them, I'll show you a few of those as well. Um, and also, uh, actually, I just saw it on Facebook, because Facebook's great for memories, right? So, uh, two years ago, uh, I actually started doing travel uh, trips with them, so uh, launches of new cars. Uh, manufacturers will get, um, they'll find a spot in the country or around the world where they want to show off that new car, whether it's a truck or an SUV or a new electric car, and um, it's always cheaper to fly the journalists to the car. So they schmooze you, want to dine you for two or three days, you drive the car, you take pictures, or you do video in some cases, or you just write about the car. Uh, so. I'm fortunate enough to do a lot of filming for them. I'll just quickly go over my website, uh, which has a lot of uh, mostly uh, photography. Um, I'll just quickly go over what images you're seeing here. So um, this was the first travel trip I did. It was for the new Chevy Silverado. Uh, we went to uh, Jackson Hole, Wyoming, and uh, two or three days out there filming the new car. They, you know, have. 30 of them, so you choose which one, the, the editor, so to speak, the person who's reviewing the car. I uh, bring all my equipment and travel out there, um, do all of the um, in-car camera, we call that, so recording of the person who's talking, if everyone's ever watched a review of a car online, there's usually a camera in the car that's mounted to the windshield. Uh, then we do a thing called B-roll, which is just beauty shots of the car, so you know, it's all that, um, extra footage you see when he's talking and they cut away to something. So that's, uh, we call that B-roll. Um, Let's see if I can use my arrows. Nope. Cool. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I have some quick videos of these I'll show you real quickly. Uh, this was in the Rocket Garden of uh, Cape Canaveral. This was last fall. The, they launched the Corvette convertible. Um, some of these trips I have a couple weeks notice, some of these trips I have a week notice. Hey, uh, these just happen to be, uh, someone else was planning to go, but something happened unfortunately. Are able to go down, fly to Cape Canaveral, film the car in the evening, fly back the next morning. Sure, uh, I'm thankful to have a very flexible job, which allows me to do this, so. Uh, let's watch it, thanks Ken. Um, so, um, and I have a great, uh, people that work at Cat TV that were able to uh, move around and cover things. So, uh, this Volvo here uh, actually was one of my, uh, I do reviews on the side. They're completely not of the level of professionalism of someone who's very knowledgeable of cars, but I just find it entertaining to give an impression of the car. So I've been doing that for a few years. Uh, and Volvo was kind enough to, um, after, I'll get to this video in a second, experience that I had on a press trip really getting to know people, uh, they were kind enough to give me a press car for a week. Uh, so it was actually in Dorset, I was roaming around and I found this cool barn with the mountains and um, 
actually my wife and I took this up to Bar Harbor, Maine for the trip and we were just, uh, it was like a whirlwind weekend trip, a lot of driving with the car. So um, a lot of people, a lot of my coworkers always, are, they just give you a car. <laughs> yes, they do. Uh, provide you have the insurance, you sign the waiver, they'll, they will deliver the car. Uh, they have a nationwide network of fleet managers and the car usually comes up from the New Jersey area. Uh, they come up, they give you the car, you're all set, okay, see you in a week, have fun. Uh, some come with a mileage restriction, uh, which I'll get to in a second, I had two of those this year. Uh, but this car we put over a thousand miles on it, so it was, uh, it was a lot of fun. Uh, this was one of my reviews with uh, the gentleman over in Albany. Um, so we achieved these kind of motion shots. You see the leaves and everything. This is last fall. Um, I'm in the back of a van with the door open, and someone's driving the van, and I'm taking the pictures. Obviously, we're strapped in, but um, <laughs> we swap, so we'll do video that way. So whenever you see a video, uh, well, we'll see in a second here. I won't tell elaborate too long on these pictures. But uh, we just call that car to car when someone's in another car filming. Um, this was a fun launch. I'll show you the video real quickly. Uh, this was uh, Sunrise in Duluth, Minnesota. Uh, a lot of these trips, uh, I kind of use Google Maps to find locations. When I know where we're going to take the car, I, I kind of scout out as my kind of my job as the video producer guy to find locations that are suitable for the B-roll of this car. So this was me, uh, they were kind enough to give me the car that morning by myself to go out and do the B-roll for the car. And, uh, this was actually a couple miles from the hotel. So um, no one was there at the time, but uh, the people came to work at about 8 a.m. and said, you'll have to leave. I said, that's fine, I'm all done, thank you. Okay. Uh, but it was a pretty cool up here. There's water on uh, that side. I do remember when I was a guest here a few years ago, I believe Mike talked about his trip to Iceland. Um, and I was, we were lucky enough, my wife and I, we did a honeymoon in Iceland. So uh, we got to rent, I, she was nice enough to let us rent the nice Volvo for the 10-day for the trip. Um, she didn't like me stopping and taking the pictures of the cars, but I had to stop for this one because it was really cool, the car, there's a little rainbow here, you can see it, the glacier. Many waterfalls in there, so it's one of my favorite images of the trip there. Um, yeah. This one's a cool one. Um, again, the gentleman in um, Albany, we went ice racing in Lake George. Uh, so this was, I was tasked with filming the ice racing while also filming B roll of this car in between. Uh, so this was actually taken during the day. Uh, that's the ice. And I decided, well, it looked like a fun thing to try and do some, I don't do a lot of whole, a lot of retouching on images, but to find a starry sky and, and replace the sky. So in, in terms of um, retouching, I thought it was a pretty decent job. Uh, I don't do a whole lot of that. Though, so. If you have any questions, just stop me. Um, I, that's, yeah, so. That's pretty much it on the photography side. I have new things, so but I thought I would go over. I've also recently had a friend of mine who does um, aviation filming. So this was actually I went down to Florida uh, for a day to film this jet, and. Um, anyways. Phenom 300 in Europe. About a month after I flew the high performance jet at Embraer Executive Jet's U.S. facility so, in Melbourne, Florida, it was an excellent opportunity to experience the new 300E. Great. Uh, so, this involves uh, the jet. So, this is footage I shot combined with uh, footage that's already existing. Obviously, we couldn't do anything fancy with it. I wasn't allowed up in the jet with <laughs> the flying part. Um, so, but like that shot uh, was something I did. So we really went to the Embraer facility for this jet and um, was allowed to shoot B-roll inside and outside the jet. And then I came back home and we put the um, 
video together. Um, so it was a very different experience. Uh, I've been working with them since last fall. We went to Las Vegas for a convention, um, and then I was fortunate enough to uh, go down to Florida for the day to film this jet. Um, so. And then this was the uh, cool experience I mentioned um, with Volvo. Last spring they had a, a select number of media come into their new factory in Charleston, South Carolina, where they make their uh, sedan, the S60. Uh, so it's about, uh, in terms of press trips, very small. Uh, they probably have a week or two of press people and they cycle you in day after day after day after day. This was just 12 people from 12 different media outlets for a whole weekend in Charleston. Uh, so they put us up in this brand new hotel and we went to the factory to film them and uh, putting this S60 together. And the cool part was not just the tour, but the um, editor that I was with got to install a piece of the car onto an actual car someone will buy. So he got to install the, um, the um, sunscreen, the moonroof, uh, into the car after, you know, obviously someone's there with him. Um, but he got to install the, uh, you could see here the airbags, the top thing going in, and, and this is the part he got to install was the uh, moonroof. Uh, so it's an impressive facility. It was really great. Uh, it's probably one of my favorite trips today because we really got to know a lot of the Volvo people, hence why uh, the experience of the press cars came in after that. Um, so, let me skip around a bit, bunch of this here. So they got to experience um, training, what they, what people go through to make a car in six hours, what people learn in probably two months. Uh, teamwork, a lot of things like that. So they work on these wooden models to know where parts go on and the conveyor belts moving. Um, it's really impressive to see what goes into making a car. And um, if there is a part problem or something like that, there's these uh, chords they pull and it plays a different song in the factory so you know what is happening if they're waiting for a part or uh, something has to be delayed because of um, something else. Um, so here he is installing the um, the uh, sunroof. It's all of these. All of these are different uh, screwdriver things that basically pull in the moonroof and. Uh, so you have to install it before you put in the windshield or anything else. It goes in pretty early on in the process. And that guy's telling him the VIN number so that if something's wrong with the car, we're going to come find him. So <laughs> um, very cool, though, to uh, be that close. Uh, Volvo, uh, I've never had any other experience in a, well, my first one, but never to actually have someone be able to put a part on a car that will, someone will buy. So other people got to install different things on the car. Um, so. Um, this is one of our reviews we do with the gentleman from Albany. He um, got a Tesla. Uh, so we do all of this uh, exterior B-roll. And uh, on this particular crew, we had three people, which is nice. Sometimes I'm by myself. Uh, so I have to do all of the footage. This is nice to just break it, broken down between the three of us so we have we get the shoot done a lot quicker. We're, we're done by lunchtime versus uh, shooting till dinner. Um, so um, that's the gentleman, obviously. So uh, we do these stand-ups, we do this B-roll, and then we hop into, it's taking a while, it's on my phone, sorry, um, the uh, in-car stuff. So um, he'll talk about everything about the car that you want to know. This is the car-to-car -car that we film. Uh, we try not to use any other, like, um, footage that's not made by us, sometimes we have to. Um, so that's that. Uh, we went down to, anyone familiar with uh, Lime Rock? Uh, so we took the Acura NSX down there. Not only did we do track time, we did road time as you see here. Um, some people are not a fan of that. If you're driving through their neighborhood with a supercar, we're not going you know, fast, we're doing the speed limit, but um, some 
people aren't a fan of that. So, but here we are on the track. Again, this is all the car to car. We're outside the back of the van. I'm driving the van. Uh, so it's a lot of coordination between he's driving the car and we're, so we don't have any accidents. Um, so, yeah. Oh, any questions so far? Yes. Do you need, when you do that in some of the open roads, do you need any police protection or police uh, say you can block off the road for you? Uh, sometimes they have done that. For us, we don't have that. Uh, we're probably, we're, we do a lot of, um, uh, we make sure we find places that are safe that we can be on the sides of the road and make sure the traffic is light and not coming. Obviously, if traffic's coming, we wait, but, you know, for the most part, uh, we don't have a lot of police protection. But certainly with bigger end shoots, definitely they have the budget to do that. And sometimes I see at the end of a movie or a role, they have chief grip, grip, second grip, third grip. Yep. Do you need any grips? Um, I can do it. You're excellent. Yeah, we're, we're, we're kind of all, all in. We're grips and we're, and we're filming and everything like that. So, um, so this next one uh, I mentioned was the truck. This one I'm pretty happy with because this was a, 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 a fun trip that I was also doing all the photo and the video. Uh, so um, this fine lady uh, flew in from San Francisco. I met her in Chicago and we flew to Duluth together to film this truck. And it was on this great cool outdoor course. If it'll load my phone, there we go. Uh, so it was a lot of fun to be able to do all of the filming. And uh, you know, it's, uh, it's uh, a busy day for sure. So it involves obviously all this B-roll stuff that we get, drive-by shots, engine shots in the car, in the truck, excuse me. Um, showing, yeah, showing off all the necessary things. She, usually the editor will develop the script, what they want to say. It's kind of up to them to memorize that and um, present that on camera. And then really what I do afterwards is after looking at the script, what does he or she mention? I must get a shot of that it's if it's important enough to be in the film. So obviously we didn't film this, so that's obviously footage we're using we can't recreate. Um, but at these demos, they do have trailers, they have all these things. If you want to tow something that's there, they can tow it and get the experience of that, at least for, for the uh, person who's reviewing the car, not necessarily myself. Um, so let's see here. We filmed the interior of the, of the uh, truck. She got to go on this road course uh, uh, full of... It's a fine grain, rusty dirt. I don't know if I'm getting the right terminology, but it used to be an old um, place where they made something. <laughs> Not for saying it correctly, but it left a nice fine uh, material on the GoPros of um, rusty orange material. Is it clay? I don't know yes, it could be clay. I, I just clay. thank you. Maybe that's it. Flag. Yeah. So it, this was a lot of fun to be on this course. You got to take the truck outside the course and drive on the roads and stuff. So I'm walking behind here, walking behind her on this shot. I have a GoPro in with her alone so I can run around behind her and get what is needed. So I'm just walking here with my camera. Um, let's see. And yeah, so. Uh, these, um, oh, add, come on. So some of these trips, like I said, uh, I have plenty of notice. Some of them I don't. Um, so this was a trip to Louisville last fall to film the new Ford Escape and the new Ford Escape hybrid. So we shot two cars in two days. Um, so uh, my job on this trip was to be the video producer. So find locations and you know where we shoot where and things like that so um, thankfully we had two guys on this trip uh, the gentleman who was presenting and the other videographer drove down from Detroit and I flew in um, the nice thing about these manufacturing trips is the manufacturer covers the cost so I really don't have to worry about food or the airfare or 
where I'm staying or anything like that. It's all taken care of by them, which is uh, it's a nice feeling. <laughs> so um, we've shot this new Ford Escape Hybrid here. Uh, I, we were lucky to find this road. We were searching for a road, and it was this nice kind of quiet road. Um, so really what I do, obviously, is the video work. I also try and do some stills. Sometimes the um, editor will do the stills if they are don't have a cameraman or something like that. Uh, but it's nice to kind of have that opportunity to, to do some stills to uh, enhance my portfolio, uh, as well as show off the uh, video stuff that we're all doing here. And this was the regular Ford Escape. Um, so sometimes when you get on these trips, they have uh, the manufacturer has found a nice route, and it's in the car, the GPS, and you've got the map and the book. And they give you places, okay, you're going to drive here. And if you have another editor in the car, you'll drive here and you'll switch people so they can sit in the car versus drive in the car. Uh, you'll go to the lunch spot. Lunch is there and ready and waiting. Or you'll go to, uh, sometimes they have cool things um, along the way. We'd stop at like a little, I think it was a little cigar bar that you could go into and buy some uh, bourbon. That's what it was. I won bourbon on this trip and they never sent it to me. <laughs> um, so the hotel was a new hotel downtown. It was uh, we Ford had this own room to itself. It had two bowling alleys in it. it was really or bowling lanes, excuse me. Uh, so they really know how to uh, take care of the people who want to say nice things about their cars. So um, yeah, any other questions? If not, let's keep going. Um, I've been here like Fayette and uh, Top Gear yep. and uh, Grand Tour, and some of the drone footage they use is phenomenal. Yes. Have you, do you do drones like either for this or even? We drone do. Drone I, drone? I have my own drone. Um, they're not, of course, they're probably at that level of yeah. quality yeah. in camera, but yeah, we have our we have drones that we're able to do things with. Um, for me, being if I'm by myself, I find that to be the icing on the cake if I can get to it. It's, it's more meat and potatoes that I get the B-roll, I get the the presenter and the camera and everything like that, but a drone certainly offers a cool perspective for sure, yeah. And um, I wish I was very skilled at that. <laughs> Carol, did you have a question? Oh, yes. Are you working directly for the manufacturer or for a marketing company? Or? Correct, yeah, so I'm working for Roadshow, which is the online outlet and they uh, are asked by the manufacturer to be, they're invited to these events. So I'm, I'm under the work of Roadshow, not directly with Chevy or okay. Ram or anything like that, no. Yep. And these are used in commercials too, or? Uh, no, these are just their reviews. Uh, so this is, uh, you could go to YouTube and find Roadshow, and it's kind of, it's like similar to Top Gear or uh, Car Wow or anything like that. Uh, they're going to these things and, and reviewing them. So, uh, this was the uh, Corvette that we flew down to Florida. This was a, a uh, sometimes challenging things. I do car shows with them too. So this was more of a presentation of the reveal, like they're driving in and they invited some astronauts to talk about it, and um, the astronauts get the car for one dollar. That was the cool thing back in the day <laughs> to get the Corvette with the astronauts of back in the day when you know Apollo was happening, Chevy gave these uh, Corvettes to the astronaut for a dollar. So they announced that tonight at this thing that they would give them back there for a dollar. They announced their racing car. The, the tricky thing about this event was they had the presentation and then everyone gangways for the car first. It's like an auto show, it's a mad dash, it's a hundred people around the car, you can't see it. Um, so it, it's, uh, Fun working like that, and being that this was kind of a last-minute trip for myself, the um, uh, gentleman I met down in Florida, we were working with our editor back in Detroit. So to get the fast turnaround because it was such an exclusive, high, big-profile car, we want to be the, one of the first ones on the internet with the review or the at least initial impression of it. Uh, we were we would film the car, and then he would be sitting over in the corner. Uh, on a Wi-Fi hotspot sending the footage back to Detroit so this cut actually happened the same night. We filmed it, we got back, by the time we got back to the hotel this video was already on Roadshow 
people could see it. It was, you know, probably a two or three hour turnaround uh, for this one. So, you know, it's filming him in the stand up. This was a lot easier because he didn't have to sit in the car or drive the car. It was stand in front of the car, talk about it. I'll film all these things and we'll send this footage up to Detroit and it will get edited and then here it is. Um, no, he did sit in the car, darn it, I lied. How many of these do you do a year? Um, that's a great question. Let's see. I think on average maybe one a month in the decent months. So it kind of tapers off around November and then I might not see anything till spring when New York Auto Show rolls around. Uh, which is fine. Uh, they, they kind of the press people to move the fleet south. And if there's anything happening, you know, you'll fly to Florida or Texas or California to do something in the warmer climate in the winter time. But uh, I would say averagely about one a month. Do you do any other kinds of filming other than cars? Um, mostly cars. Uh, I, I do do projects locally for uh, schools and other entities and things. Uh, I filmed some grad Stratton Mountain graduation this year for their, obviously it was a very different year for graduation. Um, but for traveling, mostly cars and I guess now the jets. Um, so I do, do weddings. I've done that for a lot of friends, whether it's photos or video. And that's a lot of fun. It's something different. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's mostly cars. I think we have time for one more question. Yeah, cool. Which I was. Awesome. <laughs> huh. What's the awesome yeah. car you going to Um, I would say, yeah, that's a good segue to my ending. That's good. <laughs> Um, I would say the most awesome car that I have driven, I'm still working on the photos. Uh, so when I mentioned press cars and they have a press or a mileage limit, um, I went out to LA last, to be a long story my answer. So I went out to LA, I, um, again they were like, hey, would you come to the LA Auto Show and this time I want you to do the photos for us. We have our video people, we're all set, We've got they've got a team in San Fran and Detroit and stuff, so that they're all set with that. I said, sure, that seems a lot easier than that. I just take a bunch of pictures and here you go and mm. put them out. Um, a, a gentleman I've known for a few years worked at Jaguar Land Rover. He just switched over to Aston Martin. And in LA, they launched their uh, new SUV, the DDX. Uh, so that was at this cool, ritzy place in LA. And it was nice to chat with him and see him. It's, uh, it's, it's nice to know when someone remembers you. Uh, in, in that they see so many faces and so many emails, it's nice to know that, oh, hey, Mike, how you doing? Um, so I emailed him um, back in, like, May. And I was like, I'm just going to shot in the dark this. I'm wondering if I could, you know, review the DB11 or the Vantage. And uh, he said, great, you're still in, I'm in Vermont. Okay, great. I'll send you over to our PR team. They were like, boom, all right, we'll schedule you for the cars. So I received one uh, mid-June, and then a week later they brought the DB11. So I drove this guy. Let's see where's a good picture. Well, let's do this one. So I drove the Vantage here for uh, a week, and that was probably one of my favorite cars to drive. Uh, this is where my boss and everyone goes. So they just give you the car for a week. Yep. Uh, so this car is about 150,000. Um, certainly got a lot of looks around town, my neighbors as well. Um, and, and it's funny, I, I expected them to bring the car up on a trailer. They just drive it up like every other press car. So they'll take two cars up, deliver the one, the two people get in the one car and go back. Um, so this was a lot of fun. I took it around uh, here around Williamstown. Um, those are all the pictures I'm still working on. Took it up to um, Greylock here. And then Bennington College actually turned out to be, we did some night stuff with it, long exposure, light painting. Uh, oh, here. Uh, this was a lovely sunrise at Bennington College. I'm still working on, you know, probably fixing the sky up a bit. But it was just a lucky spot to be with the, the morning dew coming over the field. 
Uh, speaking of drones, I was trying to be really, you know, being myself, all by myself. I'm like, all right, I think I can slowly drive this car down in the one lane here. This is going back towards the music hall. And put the drone in the field and just go with me. And I did that until the drone caught a tall hedge and went in the field. So I uh, thankfully used the GPS location on the uh, phone and, and started walking in the field to it. And I was scared for ticks and stuff, but I didn't find anything, which was good. Um, so that's my drone story. Thankfully, it's all right. And then uh, the next week, I got to drive this bright yellow uh, DB11, um, which I took down to. Uh, this is um, I forget the name of this. The Edith Wharton House down in Lenox, Massachusetts. Uh, yep, yep. It's a beautiful location. Uh, so the wall was in here. Let's see if I can find the. Uh, there, yeah. So working on some of them, but um, so that house I thought really fit the car. So um, I enjoy these a lot because I have a whole week with the car, time to find nice photo spots, time with the video, take my time to do a lot more stuff. I can work a little more slowly versus a lot more quickly versus all the other shoots we have less than a day. So. So that's that. Any, I'll stop there. Any questions or? Cool. Thanks for having me.